All right, we'll file this story under not so grand theft auto, or if at first you don't succeed, fail, fail again. Yes, that's right. Todd Sheldon of Jefferson County, Colorado was allegedly trying to break into a car and steal it. The owner of the car called the police and the would-be thief fled. But the cops caught him right down the street where he was trying unsuccessfully to break into a truck. He made bail, but then he was arrested again for allegedly trying, again unsuccessfully, to break into a third vehicle and steal it. Sheldon reportedly told police, and I quote, I really suck at this. <laughs> kind of reminds me of a Quaker deciding to become a mugger. <laughs> or the Democrats trying to impeach Trump. None of them are very good at what they're trying to do. Now, there are two pieces of good news to the story. One, locking your car does prevent theft, at least by this guy. And number two, doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result gives him the perfect foundation for an insanity defense. <laughs> or a liberal's tax and spend campaign platform. They're all one and the same. All right, what do snow, snowboarders like? Freshly fallen snow, wide open slopes, and an intense battle with an irate grouse, right? Well, that's what a Russian snowboarder got when a large wood grouse took issues with the snow that he sprayed in the bird's face. It became enraged and it attacked the snowboarder. The wood grouse made three attempts to strike me, the snowboarder reported on Instagram. The video accompanying the post shows the Russian using his snowboard to defend himself against the grouse, avoiding any Russian contusions, I'm sure. I said avoiding any Russian contusions. Well, the snowboarder said he got away from the bird but tripped over his stone. I'd say that's instant karma for him. So I guess you could say while the early bird gets the worm, the angry grouse always gets the snowboarder. And this next story puts a new twist on the whole Go Green movement. Some workers at a recycling center in England were going through some boxes and were stunned to find that one of them had nearly 20,000 bucks in cash. Luckily, the police were able to track down the car of the people who'd thrown away all that money. Surprisingly, they did not work for the government. <laughs> Guess this gives a new meaning to the saying, be the change you wanna see in the world. Well, it seems that family members had just been cleaning out the house of a deceased relative who was known for hiding cash in odd places. I don't think we want to know more details than that. Uh, Governor? Yeah, Keith? Hey, if I may interrupt you, the story reminds me of a time my friend quit his job at the recycling plant, crushing cans. Yeah? Now, when his son asked him why, he said, because it's soda pressing. <laughs> Don't turn on me, please. You know, Keith, I've got an idea for a chewing gum recycling business. Yeah. I just can't find the initial help I need to get it off the ground. <laughs> well, I guess this story really proves the old slogan, it pays to recycle. <laughs> and in this case, extremely well. Okay, moving on, because obviously we need to. A prominent lawyer in London gained instant internet infamy when he tweeted about killing a fox with a baseball bat while wearing his wife's green kimono. I just wonder, are we sure this isn't another Florida man story? I mean, come on. <laughs> Mr. Jolyon Morgom is usually known in the UK for his legal challenges to Brexit, but he received a harsh backlash from his followers after he posted Already this morning, I have killed a fox with a baseball bat. How's your boxing day going? Seems he moved from prosecuting Brexit to defending his Foxit decision. Now, the lawyer clarified that he targeted the fox after it stressed out the chickens that he keeps in his London backyard. However, Twitter users condemned Morgom's actions and called on the Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, the RSPCA, to take some action. Guidelines say that you can use traps to catch foxes, but you must humanely kill any fox you catch while it's in the trap or snare. So it would seem the whole Sopranos-style use of a bat maybe doesn't qualify as humane. The RSPCA said in the tweet that 
we would like to reassure people that we're investigating. I'm sure you are. Finally tonight from the wild and wacky website, eatliver.com. What a website that is, eatliver.com. How about some really cool t-shirts of our favorite movies and TV shows that were just a little bit off by the time they arrived here from China? Now, don't get your t-shirts printed there because here was one. Like the classic line from Star Trek, Spock always said, live long and proper. <laughs> if you never watched Star Trek, that went right by you, okay? <laughs> or the great Indiana Joan declaring his hatred for snacks. <laughs> Perhaps the great CBS sitcom, Everybody Loves Rain Man, <laughs> it's more to your liking. Or the classic Jurassic Park line, an adventure 65 years in the making. <laughs> and with the NFL championship just a few weeks off, I thought we should all consider getting this super bowel shirt <laughs> to show <laughs> our support. I didn't make it up, I just read it. Well, just like a British liberal chasing foxes with a bat and kimono on, we got to get out of here. But always remember, we read the news. Now, if you're seeing this, I know you've enjoyed that video. I mean, how could you not after all? So you know what you should do? Leave a like, click on the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell next to it so you'll always know when I have another video up for you to enjoy.